Question, what do seed shopping and buying tickets for a rock concert have in common? The answer, you're probably gonna have to wait in a line if you want the best possible seats right when the ticket time opens. Hi, my name is Kristen with Shifting Roots and I help gardeners plant vegetables and flowers with ease. Now from my question before, you wouldn't believe it, but if you're someone who wants really special varieties of things that you can't find just anywhere, then when your favorite seed company opens its cart for the new year, you're gonna have to be there the first day and maybe even the first hour or first few minutes to get those vegetable seeds you want. Now, if you're a bit more flexible on varieties, no problem. As soon as the seed cart opens, you have a bit of time between that day and when you first need to start starting your seeds to make your purchases. Although you always need to allow a little bit of time for shipping, um, especially if you're in the year like when I'm recording this, where um, shipping has been a little bit slower than normal. So you always wanna give yourself twice as much time as you think you're gonna need. Seed shopping is arguably one of the funnest things about starting your garden for the year, but it can be really confusing. There's so many seed companies to purchase from. There's so many varieties of different vegetables you could grow. And if you're new to gardening, it can be really overwhelming. Today we're talking about the best places to buy vegetable seeds online. I'm going to share with you some places that I personally shop at as well as in the first half of the video I'm going to share the criteria that I use to determine where I'm shopping that year and I'm also assuming that you and I might not live in the same growing zone. I'm in zone three on the Canadian prairies so the criteria that I'm going to use to choose where to shop for seeds it might be a little bit different than where you're going to choose to shop for seeds and that's totally okay. The first half of the video will have everything you need to determine the best place that works for you. If you happen to be looking for cut flowers, I also have a video on the best places to buy cut flowers in Canada. I'll put a post into the description and it'll tell you everything you need to know. Also, I'm just sticking today to companies that are in Canada or that ship to Canada that I personally use and love, or um, in the case of the ones that ship to Canada, I may not have used them, but I've heard from many other garden bloggers and gardeners that those are reputable companies and they've had really good success with them. I should also mention that I am not sponsored by any of these seed companies. These are all mine own opinions. So let's get into it. So the first question is, how do I decide when there's so many seed companies to choose from where I'm gonna buy my seeds from this year? In general, you'll need to think about if there's a good local option that you can purchase everything from. How many companies do you wanna buy from? For me personally, I like to have one main company that I do one of my larger orders from, and then I'll also support some other companies with smaller orders just to fill out the things that I couldn't get absolutely everywhere. Because unfortunately, there is no truly one-stop shopping for seed companies. Everybody's gonna have a little bit of a different variety and some things will be totally unique to that seed company. Company. It's also great if you can stick close to places, have the same climate as you. Now, that won't determine everything. So, for example, I order a lot of times from Vessies or Incredible Seeds, which are in Atlantic Canada, even though I'm in the prairies, but those seeds still work for me. However, like say I'm looking for stuff that's in a short growing season specific to my climate, then I would order from TNT seeds or I'd pick up things from Early's because they're more likely to have the varieties that are going to work for this climate right here. So wherever you are, if there's some sort of a local-ish option in the same growing region, then it's an excellent choice for you. Some of you might be more interested in specialty varieties or you might want all heirlooms or all organic, or maybe you want some place that you can do your vegetable shopping, your cut flower shopping, and even your fruit tree shopping. So that's all gonna factor into your decision. For some of you that are in acreage gardens or maybe considering the market garden thing, you're gonna need some place that has large quantities. If you're only buying the seed quantities meant for home gardeners, it's gonna get really expensive. You wanna be able to buy stuff in like 500 grams and a kilogram or whatever it is that you need, look for those quantities so you'll have those kind of savings. For those of us like me that are in Canada, it's also important to make sure that if we're buying from American companies, we need to make sure that those companies A, ship to us, and B, that the exchange rate still makes shopping there worth it for us. Um, I don't know if Americans, if you ever look at our Canadian companies, but um, for you, if a Canadian company ships to you, it's probably a deal because 
because of that exchange rate. But again, you just wanna check and make sure because sometimes when things like seeds are going across the border, you might not actually get your order. It doesn't happen a lot, but it can happen where customs decides that, no, you don't get this one. I've also had the thing where I've wanted to order cut flowers from Say Fleuret and um, I couldn't have the cut flower I wanted because those seeds were not allowed to cross the border in Canada. That happens less with vegetables, but it still happens. So just something for you to be aware of. For some of you, you might decide that you don't actually need to shop online and that you can find everything locally. So generally your two options are the big box store or even sometimes a grocery store or a specific garden center. Now, the thing about big box stores is that you're not gonna get any help and you probably won't find the varieties that you're specifically looking for. So if you're not picky about varieties and you don't really need to ask any questions, sure, shop at a big box store. Sometimes you can actually find really good deals on varieties you wouldn't think. Like for example, I found some Cafe au lait dahlias for an incredibly cheap price at Walmart of all places. I scooped all those babies up, but for the most part, I am shopping at the specialty shops. Your local garden center probably has an extensive collection of seeds, which is wonderful because you're gonna support local, you're gonna have lots of seeds to choose from, from different companies, and if you have any questions, their staff is gonna be able to actually answer those questions, and they won't be guessing, they will know. Um, in a really popular seed place um, where I live in Saskatoon, it's funny, during seed shopping season, they'll often be someone who's in the seed aisle with you and they'll ask a question hoping that maybe somebody will know and like five different people will chime in that are all gardeners also looking for their seeds. It's kind of a fun experience. Okay, so now let's move on to the specific companies where you can buy vegetable seeds from that I personally know, use, and love. For heirloom and organic seeds, I like Incredible Seed Company, Heritage Harvest Seeds, and Prairie Garden Seeds. Incredible Seed Company is in Atlantic Canada, and I specifically like them for my tomatoes. Um, I really like to grow paste tomatoes because our family doesn't eat a ton fresh. We like our tomatoes for canning and processing, and they have one of the most extensive collections of organic heirloom tomatoes that I just don't see anywhere else. And so I've ordered a bunch of mine from them. I'm really happy with the results. I've also ordered other vegetables and they tend every fall to have a sale on those cool crop vegetables. So I also stocked up this year from them and seeds have been great, really nice company. You should check them out. Heritage Harvest Seeds is out of Manitoba. They um, unfortunately don't print their catalog anymore, but if you can find someone somewhere that has it like squirreled away, if you're a garden nerd, it's really cool to read it and see kind of the little histories of all of the different vegetables that there are. They have a crazy variety of beans, especially if you wanna do storage beans and just really any vegetable that you could think of that you want an heirloom for, they probably have it. And again, because I'm on the prairies, I know that those vegetables are gonna work in my climate no matter what. Prairie Garden Seeds is the most local to me and I really enjoy their offerings. The only downside with them is for many years, they haven't had a very good website and you don't have a catalog. You have to like download it as a PDF, which was very inconvenient and there was no pictures, but they have a new website up and it looks so much better and is so much easier to use and order from. So I think I will be ordering more stuff from them just because I really do want to support the people that are local to me. Now, if you're somebody who is looking for one of those one-stop shopping places where you want to get most of your vegetables, maybe you have a few flowers, you want to get some herbs, maybe even a few perennials, these are my picks for you. The one closest to me also out of Manitoba is TNT Seeds. This is a company that my dad used all while I was growing up. I've used them a ton. Um, and they have lots of varieties that are good for the prairies. They are early. They're good for a short growing season. And especially if you're looking for tomatoes that do well in a short growing season or any of those more long season crops that you can just like get that maturity window down, TNT seeds will have them. They also have different quantities and I found price wise are probably one of the cheaper places to order from. Vessies has been one of my go-to companies as well. They're out in Atlantic Canada. I've ordered flowers, vegetables, um, did I even order fruit or fruity, like just small little twig type things from them. And I've been really happy with everything. My flowers have done well. They have a great selection of 
basically everything. So it really is truly one-stop shopping. Lately, I've been ordering from William Dam and I'm really happy. If you also wanna get lots of cut flowers and have a very excellent selection, they are good as well. Um, I'll link up there to my cut flower video if you're interested in that. But otherwise, really solid seed company have had no problem with any of the seeds and one of my local options for me here in Saskatoon is Early's Farm and Garden Center that's another company that my family has used all while I was growing up I'm very familiar with and many years I've done the bulk of my seed shopping there they have pretty much everything I love going to them for garden supplies because I don't want to wait and mail order those it's just a personal preference there's nothing wrong with mail ordering those but if I want to seed start I just want to go in the store and get the supplies and they have everything there that I need and a lot of the specialty stuff that I'm looking for finally let's talk about the American companies that ship to Canada so personally I have not used these very much or at all depending on the company I'm talking about. The reason why is that the exchange rate between the US and Canada for me just makes it a little too expensive. The other thing is that for some of them they're going to concentrate on varieties that work better in conditions in the states or have longer growing windows because more of the growing zones in the US have a longer time than I do up here in Canada. So again can you order from these companies? Absolutely. They have some varieties we just can't get over here. And that's great. But for me in my situation, I generally don't. However, I still think they're worth mentioning because you should know who they are. The first one is Johnny Seeds. And Johnny Select Seeds has everything. Absolutely everything. I love their catalog. It's so organized. It has so much helpful information. Um, you might find it even overwhelming if you're a beginner, but it's still like a great read and just a beautiful catalog. And from everyone I've heard of, the seeds are fantastic. And if you're a market gardener, there's some stuff that is engineered more just for market gardeners and that growing condition and to be sold. So for you, if you're a market gardener, that actually might be the place you might want to buy from. If you watch any sort of homesteading channels, you've probably heard of Baker Creek Seeds and they have like the most extensive variety of heirloom seeds, crazy stuff like noodle beans and different vegetables that you just don't hear of. I think they are the ones who only sell Brad's Atomic Grape for tomatoes. Um, I would love to order from Baker Creek Seeds, but again, I'm just hesitant because of my growing season and I feel like a lot of their stuff just has such long dates to maturity or is even made for climates where there's just a lot more humidity and might not do as well in my dry climate. Now, if you're looking for a cost efficient option, um, MI Gardener has very affordable seeds. Also another great option to check out. I have a really in-depth post on my blog. It has tons and tons of seed companies, more than I'm going to list here today. And you can also check that out in the description. Finally, if you would really love to um, support local, a lot of companies on Etsy and Instagram are just like small homegrown business things that you can order from. So if you run across those, those are also a great option to support. Many communities will also have things like CD Saturday or CD Sunday, and it's a big sweet seed shop where you can all get together and trade seeds or get some seeds for free. Now, however, I'm recording this in 2021 and I'm assuming those things won't be running this year or they'll be running online in some sort of fashion. But if you're watching this in future dates, I am hoping that it's like before where it's a physical event that you get to go to. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you found this information, I hope you'll hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. I wish you a super happy seed shopping and I'll see you in the next video.